I went on eBay and I bought a problem. And I mean it, it's a problem. A used motherboard. A used socket 2066 LGA 2066 X299 motherboard. And if you know or you don't know, that's the socket and chipset that takes those crazy Intel 18 cores, even the brand new one, the 10980XE, that's a thousand dollars. And it's smaller than a CD, incredible. But don't worry, it is definitely a problem. Maybe you can see why already, but we'll, we'll get to that. And it is quite the motherboard. There's actually a couple other of these, of this style, an ITX socket 2066 x299 motherboard but they're rack mounted and lack a lot of features this this lacks no features really like even these so dims it has four ddr4 so dim slots for four channel and these processors will do six channels so that's actually a limiting factor in a sense but four channel on a board this size come on really the only limiting factor is that it has just one pci express slot just one x16 slot but let's even go here these these are this a and this c are both um usb gen 1 uh, usb 3.1 gen 2 so these are max speed these are gen 1 dual gigabit ethernet and not only does it have onboard audio i, I know that's pretty standard it is reputably by asrock all Japanese capacitor Nichikan audio, which is pretty fancy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a big audiophile. Uh, and then this built-in Wi-Fi card is Wi-Fi 5, otherwise known as 802.11ac. Uh, not the latest, but really close. And Bluetooth 4. And it's built in. A little tiny vertical M.2 hiding in there. If you didn't know, that's how that works. That's how that works. So it's an, another M.2 slot. And look at the cool little BIOS battery placement. And then, oh, and it even has RGB, huh? Right? Well, wonderfully ridiculous. Six SATA 3 ports, another USB header for uh, 3.1 Gen 1, a USB 2.0 header, and then a vertical M.2 slot. And you know what? That's not the crazy part. That's the third one. These are one and two. <laughs> Three M.2 slots, and I mean it. These are the direct-to-CPU ones. The other one on top is actually indirect. It goes through the chipset, and it, c it can handle a, a NVMe SSD in SATA mode, but these can't. These are direct-to-CPU. So if you want them fast, you, you want them back here, and you definitely like to populate both of them. Uh, to put them in RAID. Um, if you want to RAID with this one, you actually have to spend a hundred dollars. I'm not kidding, it's a licensing fee. You, you literally don't get the thing that unlocks the microcode and to RAID this with the other two unless you spend another hundred dollars. Uh, Alright, whatever, so that's, that's, that's it. But, but it is a problem. I bet you're guessing what I'm gonna say. You know, the thing that you normally go, no, just don't, don't do that. Don't buy that motherboard. And, you know, I basically agree, but. Three bent pins. No. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. I bought it like this. The the eBay ad actually said it. It was $180. Wow, I'm out of my mind. I spent $180 on a pre-broken motherboard. But you know what? These brand new are now going for $750. They just went out of production this year, and this is the only real option. There's a few other ITX uh, Socket 2066 motherboards out there, but they're all rack mount. They really don't have a lot of features, so building a high-end desktop uh, system via one really sucks. There's really, really no point. You should just try a different method. And, and I'm act I want this to be Hackintosh, so I am actually stuck with Intel. So here we are. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how that goes. I get to try to fix those. Oh no. Uh, wish me
luck. I need it. <laughs>